Hey guys, welcome to another video here at Cloud Colubrids. If you watched my last video, you see those amazing snakes I picked up from VMS Herps off a of Morph Market. So in this video, we're going to be setting them up in their quarantine bins. We might even feed some of them. And I'll feed a couple of other snakes on video. It's going to be a great video. I got a nice coffee here. Hope you guys are relaxing and enjoying your weekend. And for those of you who are watching, I want to make a toast for all of you guys and girls. So in my last video, I unboxed these amazing snakes that I got in from Morph Market. And in this video, we're going to be setting them up in their quarantine bins. And we're going to also try and feed them, see if they eat for the first time on camera. And if you haven't seen the last video, go check it out. It's amazing. All right, so I just finished my coffee. I decided to come out here. The weather is just so beautiful outside. We got some filtered sunlight. So we're going to set up the bins out here. Enjoy the weather and the snakes. So for this setup, it's going to be really, really simple. Just using some paper towel. I'm going to use this toilet paper roll folded as a little hide. And I got some spring water. So for those of you who know my collection, you know I have a lot of black and white California king snakes. My goal is to acquire the best of the best of each type of look and then pair them to each other to produce the finest California king snakes out there. We have different looks. I love the ink drop pattern. I love just the clean black and white banded California king snake. And like this guy right here, he has more of a Dalmatian look. So I'm trying to produce the best of each variant. Now, some of these snakes don't always come out looking like this. You can't always breed for those exact looks. But by putting the best of the best, you increase your chances. So hopefully I'll be producing some amazing king snakes coming soon. So up next is our albino high white California king snake. So for this albino high white cow king, I decided to use this hemp bedding instead of the paper towel. I don't think you're gonna be able to really see this snake on white paper towel. I don't wanna get scared and think I lost them. So I'm going with this hemp bedding. Definitely a good choice, it's absorbent and um, it doesn't build mold. You know, VMS Herps has amazing quality snakes. I've never had an issue with any of their snakes so I'm not really worried about mites or any diseases but I'm gonna still keep them separated for about four months before I put them into my rack system. If I would... So unlike the banded black and white California king snakes, with these high white California king snakes, my goal and most people love the look of the cleanest all white California king snakes with very little pattern. So I'll be looking to get a female for this guy with that exact look. And I wanna thank all the viewers for helping me name this guy. I'm gonna name him Jack Frost, which was suggested to me in the comments. Thank you guys so much. So for the butter female, we're gonna go with some paper towel. Nice little paper towel roll. So if you guys continue watching after I get everybody set up in their bins, I'm going to attempt to feed all these guys. And if you watch to the end, I'm going to show you popcorn, the male that's going to be pairing with this girl in the future. So stay tuned. So for this sun kissed female, I'm just using some paper towel 
and a paper towel roll, which I'll put in later. Now this girl's deep. This girl's in deep shed, so her colors are really dull. She should be shedding any day now. So we're gonna plop her in there. Put a little bit of water. I'll splash a drop right there, just a little bit on the paper towel. Give it a little extra moisture and humidity so she can shed a little bit easier. So this guy's settling into his new home and we're gonna feed him first. Now, on his paper it says feeding on live pinkies. So he's actually feeding on live pinkies. But, you know, I'm gonna offer him a frozen thawed pinky. He just came in from shipping, so he might wind up eating. Let's see what happens. So I got the pinky nice and warm. Let's see if he goes for it. So he actually went for it. Oh wow, so this is a pleasant surprise. He was sold as a live, well, let's not get too excited. Let's not get too excited, he just let it go. So next is this female Butter Stripe, and her name is Butter. Thank you guys for the recommendations on the names. We had a couple of good ones, Butterscotch, um, Car Caramel, and uh, I think there was one other one, but a couple of people said Butter. So I just wanna thank you guys for helping me name this girl. And you know, her mate is Popcorn, so they even said in the comments, popcorn and butter, perfect match. So you can see she's eating, and you know, I'm not gonna mess with her. So now you can see his belly's full. That's the extreme banded meal that we fed. And uh, I gotta clean up that poop, but uh, Looking good so far. So everybody's eating so far. That's two for two. And we got two more to go. So next we're gonna feed this guy, the albino high white cow king. See if he eats. Now I'm not gonna feed. Boom. Got it. So we'll let him eat. I don't want to disturb them. They just came in from shipping and sometimes they get a little nervous. So I just came back to check on butter and you can see the pinky in her belly. So everybody ate except the sun-kissed Tessera who's in shed. So me and butter, we're gonna wrap up this video I'm so glad you guys are watching these videos. You enjoy the videos and showing support. So I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your weekend. I got a lot more snakes to feed and vents to clean, but I'll catch you guys in the next one.